Greetings and welcome to Pinball Help. Mike here. Today I'm going to do a short video on how to test bridge rectifiers and basically what they are and what they do. Uh, they're an important component in most electronic stuff because most electronics want run on DC power, which is current running in direct current running in one direction, whereas most of the voltage you get from your wall, or all of it, I guess I should say, at least in America, is AC. It's running alternating, so it goes back and forth. So, in order for the power to work for electronic components that run on DC, the power has to be rectified, which means it has to be converted from AC to DC. And uh, these are common rectifiers that you'll find in pinball machines. Um, this is one probably with a spade terminal. You might see that not on a circuit board, but sometimes um, underneath in the games where like the or Bally games where they might have some stuff like this and they, they, they have small ones they have large ones another ver version of rectification is involves just having a couple of diodes so let's uh, before we get into how to test them let's talk about what a rectifier is from a schematic standpoint and uh, so what you basically have uh, for a rectifier is you got a square like this this is the schematics for it and a re the symbol for a diode is that. With the line through it, like that. And this indicates that uh, current can flow in one direction, but it cannot flow in the other. So the diode basically blocks the current from flowing in the opposite direction. And so you have a... Uh, a minus and a plus side and then you have your AC connected on these things so that's basically your standard rectifier schematic now um, so you could you hook the AC into here and then your DC comes out here and uh, Oftentimes, depending upon how much power is flowing through it, these things can get hot, and you may see heat sinks on them. So, looking at the rectifier, it's basically a set of four diodes is all it is. Um, this is your common one. You'll see there's, sometimes they'll have a little corner missing. That indicates uh, where the positive terminal is. Um, so, once you know where the positive is, the one opposite it is the negative, and then the other two are the AC connectors. So, here's one without the corner missing, but if you look, you can see, let's zoom in there a little bit, and uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, you see how there's, there's four of them that run equidistant, and there's one off one here. That's going to be your positive lead right there. So, once you know that, you know this is positive, this is negative. These two are the AC ones. And, uh, bad time for a phone call. Sorry. Um, so let's talk about how to test these things. So, to test the uh, bridge rectifier, you'll want to t put your multimeter on diode mode, and you'll want to take your negative lead and put it to the positive right the odd lead and then you'll want to touch either of the AC legs and when you do that you'll get a reading and, it, and like on mine it gives a little beep see it says point, point .463 it should be between 400 and 600 and see so that's a good one then you reverse it you put the positive on the negative and you test it on the other AC legs and so we know this is a good one. Let's test one that's, that I pulled out of uh, this Bram Stoker's Dracula that I was working on. So there's our uh, positive lead. So we'll put the negative to that. And then we'll check, check the, uh, the two legs there on the AC. See, I get nothing there. It's open. There's a good read right there. Okay, so now let's flip it around over here. positive to negative. Check our AC leads. Nothing. Nothing. So basically this thing is this thing is completely blown. Uh, there's one diode in there that's working. 
So that's toast. We could do the same thing on this. We see in this case uh, the, the orientation of the spade is different for one of them. That's the positive. So we put the negative to that and check. Okay. Okay. Put the positive over here. Okay. And you could do the same thing in circuit. So here's our uh, Here's a power driver board from a WPC game, and you can see there's uh, there's several different kinds of uh, rectifiers here. You've got these two here, and there's two underneath here that have a heat sink on them because they um, probably handle more power and generate more heat. So we'll flip it over, flip the board over, and we'll look at where these are. And uh, let's see, zoom in just a little bit. Okay, so rectifier here, rectifier here, rectifier here, rectifier here. You can spot the positive by looking at the one that's off. See, this is positive, negative, AC. So let's put the negative to the positive and check the legs here. Now, sometimes when you're testing these in circuit, be aware that... Um, there could be flux, there could be oxidation over these solder joints. you got to really kind of dig in and get a good uh, connection in order to check them. Sometimes they'll give you faulty readings if you're, uh, if you're not able to get a good connection. So I like to push this onto the lead pretty hard. And then, here we go. So we know that one's good. So you can go through your whole game. If you, and this is something you can do where you don't even have to... Um, you don't have to... to take anything off this off the motherboard to check usually you can check these things in circuit and uh, they should they should work okay so there you have it quick way of testing bridge rectifiers and uh, for more visit pinballhelp.com be sure to subscribe to my channel youtube slash pinball help and uh, thanks for watching